the number of accidents would still go down. How can that be? Is it just because all the idiots have now run themselves off the road, leaving it safer for the rest of us? Speed cameras. They're annoying, but they do save lives. You can count the number of accidents you get before you put a speed camera in and the number of accidents you get after you've put a speed camera in and they will go down. In fact, if you're looking at serious and fatal accidents, they'll go down by about a third. So if in the three years before the speed camera you had, say, three serious and fatal accidents a year, then in the years after you put the speed camera up, you could expect it to go down to about two serious and fatal accidents per year. So far, so good. But not so fast, because it turns out that even if you didn't put a speed camera up, the number of accidents would still go down. How can that be? Is it just because all the idiots have now run themselves off the road, leaving it safer for the rest of us? That can happen, but that's not what we're talking about here. What we're talking about here is statistics. Think of it another way. If you toss a coin, you expect it to come up heads half the time and tails half the time. But if you tossed it twice, you wouldn't be that surprised if instead of coming up one head and one tail, you got two heads or two tails, so long as when you tossed it hundreds of times, it came out around 50-50. Or think of cards. Now, if I dealt you a random hand of three cards, turns out the average value you can get is just under 19 and two thirds. Now, clearly that's not a value you can get with a hand of three cards, but if you dealt hundreds and hundreds of them, that's what you would tend towards. But you wouldn't be that surprised if instead you got a much higher hand, for example, uh, a jack, an eight and a 10, giving you a value of 28. That's, that's much more than the average. Or say, oh, a jack, a king and a seven, 27, again, much higher than average, or oh, Jack, King, Queen, giving you a score of 30. That's the highest you can get from a three card hand, unless you go aces high. But suppose I shuffled these cards back into the pack and asked you to bet on what the next three hands would be. Would they be the same as those in value or higher or lower? You'd probably go lower, wouldn't you? And you'd probably be right, because it's very unlikely that we'll carry on with this run of unusually high hands. You probably get something more like, oh, three, four, five, giving you a value of 12, lower than the average and a lot lower than those unusually high hands we just had. Now accidents don't work exactly the same way, but there is an element of this natural variation around the average. So if you had on average two accidents a year in a particularly dangerous stretch of road, you wouldn't be that surprised if in a certain run of three years it went up to three, four, even five accidents in a year. You'd expect that it would go back down again afterwards and the average would stay the same. And it turns out this is what happens. And this going back to the average value is what statisticians call regression to the mean. Literally, going back to the average. So does this mean that speed cameras don't work at all? That when you put a speed camera up, Remember that you're looking for dangerous stretches of road. You only put a speed camera up when there have been an unusually high number of accidents, say four serious accidents within three years. So you would expect that having gone for those particularly high hands, if you like, for the particularly high number of accidents, you would expect it to fall again. Well, no, it turns out a researcher called Dr. Linda Mountain has done some research and factored in this regression to the mean and found that speed cameras do have an effect. They just don't have as high an effect, they don't save as many lives as is sometimes claimed for them. And they also, they don't save as many lives as some other things you could do, like for example, speed bumps, which are more effective and if anything, even more annoying. Thanks statistics. Send your own questions in. If they're any good, I'll answer them. If they're not or they're too difficult, I'll just discard them and pretend I never saw them. Why not subscribe? Then you'll see if I liked yours.